Thibodeau style takes on Barbados. My name is Mackenzie Thibodeau and I am the creator of all things food, fashion, travel, New England and beyond. And this is our video of our honeymoon in Barbados from five months ago. It was beautiful, tropical, wonderful. Sometimes we had rainstorms and clouds, but here is a glimpse at everything we got to experience during our 10 days in Barbados. Day two, actually day three. <laughs> Today we're switching rooms. Um, we were pool view, now we're going to an ocean view, but here's the actual view. Mm. One more day in Barbados, and we swapped rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Which was kind of a mess. Oh, we swap room. Um, we got the most expensive room with an ocean view, but it turns out the room, everything is smaller, bed, TV, bathroom, happy to be here, um, happy to be when you have a view like this. The thing I want to talk about is food. We had an amazing opportunity where we were originally supposed to be in an all-inclusive resort. Our reservation to where we were going to go was under reconstruction, so we had to go to a resort that wasn't all-inclusive, but they kept our all-inclusive package, which meant the quality of the food was way better than you're going to find in an all-inclusive resort. We had so many delicious options. Some of our favorites were these mini hamburger sliders that were like an appetizer. They had lots of seafood, sushi, so many desserts. Pizza, which was honestly really good. These spring rolls with a sweet chili sauce. My favorite dish was this bolognese pasta. Every morning we had like a buffet style breakfast, complimentary buffet style breakfast. Always potatoes, always beans, because there's a lot of influence from Great Britain, UK. They had a very common dish in the area is called macaroni pie, which we tried a couple times. Not a huge fan. I need to try someone who, you know, people will tell me that I need to try someone else's so that it tastes better, but it was really a glorified, like a ziti bake. <laughs> lots and lots and lots of food, and of course, it was all you can eat, and when you're in all you can eat, all inclusive resort, you want to get your money's worth, so you're just constantly consuming, um, which, you know, is a wise decision, I don't know, but you only have your honeymoon once. Most of the days you had a menu, a fixed menu for lunch, a fixed menu for dinner, Dinner, but twice a week they did a buffet style, which we didn't love. Buffet style food wasn't as good as when they had the chefs making the meals fresh, but we still enjoyed every single dish, of course. And then this video was really cool, they're making crepes, and this woman, she saw me trying to record her making crepes for someone else, and when she was doing it, it was for a kid, and, and it didn't have this big flame that you're going to see from when she's making the crepe here. I, I don't know if it was, there was a special name for it, um, but it was caramelizing bananas and fresh crepes with a drizzle of whatever sauce you want, and they were so good. And this one was super, super kind, one to let me film, but also just in general, really nice, nice person. Chocolate sauce. Ooh. You're the best. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're welcome. Amazing. First, during our meals, we had live music, football at dinner time, and sometimes during the day, depending on what day it was. And it was fun. We had fun live music. One of the singers towards the end of the trip, she sang our the song that we danced to our wedding to. She had it played. I don't know if she sang it because she didn't know it, but she played it over the speakers, which was cute. We got to dance again in front of all these people. This is a 
clip of the rain that we got. We got a few days of rain. Now we were there for 10 days, so a couple days or a couple hours of rain wasn't the end of the world, but man was it strong. These tropical winds, tropical rain, because of the weather we weren't allowed to or able to do some of the things we really wanted to, like kayaking and snorkeling and going sailing and even fishing. A lot of the days that that was available wasn't was closed down because of the weather and just the risk. So that was that was unfortunate, but we still made the most of most of it. Even in the bad weather, we watched TV or we played cards. We had a good time. And during that weather, the bad weather, we would order room service and we would try to order it when it wasn't raining too harsh because we don't want people. The, the room service, the staff bring stuff in the rain, but when it was cloudy or crummy or sprinkling, we were able to order our food and have it brought to us. And all the same menu, the lunch menu and the dinner menu, fully available and desserts. I'm pretty sure I had ice cream brought one time, um, but super good. But one of the days, it was a rainy day. We didn't realize it was gonna be a rainy day. It was earlier on in the trip and we needed toothpaste because we did not have any toothpaste. We ran out and unfortunately the hotel didn't have any available. They didn't have much of anything available. You know how you'll go to a, a resort and they'll have all these fun little, I don't know if it's just fun, but like travel sized things. Really the most they had was soap, uh, shampoo and conditioner, but nothing in addition to those items. And so we went to the grocery store, but, and we walked in the rain. <laughs> but one thing I love, love, love when I go to other countries is seeing their grocery stores. I love seeing where the food is the same, where the food is different, different brands, the pricing, all of that I think is just incredible. And so we had a good time. A lot of things were the same because a lot of things were from the UK. There were brands that we know and love that we tried. Um, we bought a couple things you'll see soon, but we also found this cute shopping area that we were able to walk around with artisan stores and some nicer, fancier, touristy stores, but we had fun shopping around and looking. Okay, so we got some groceries. The first thing we needed to get, did you grab it already? Nope. <laughs> toothpaste, because the hotel doesn't have those mini toothpaste, so we went and bought this. This was like six, no, seven USD. Um, we got Cheetos, half a one of Cheetos for seven USD. <laughs> I got these because I've never seen these before. I don't know, they're English crisps, so I'm assuming they're from the UK. There's a lot of people here from the UK. Yep, from England, so I wanted to try those. Sweet chili and red pepper. Then I got rum cake made in Barbados. Wanted to try this, see if it's worthy of bringing back with us, if it's good. I got the chocolate one. They only had big boxes of the vanilla one, so we'll try the chocolate one. I got trolley. And then, and then, and then, and then, I got a seltzer to try. Sparkling grapefruit with like Greek lettering, so I don't know where it's actually from. Let's see. Let's see if it says. Probably says somewhere. Actually, no, it says it's a product of Korea, which is bizarro because that's not Korean lettering. So, anyway, <laughs> worth a try. We're gonna try our English chips. From the US with their next port and our cakes. Oh, yeah. That's a Cheeto. <laughs> Tastes exactly how a Cheeto should. <laughs> Alright, now these ones are English chips. Oh, hold on. 
at that. It's literally like a cake. a cake. I feel like I need to make coffee for it. All right. To the later. All right, we're gonna come back to this after our chips. All right, he's trying the Barbados rum cake for the first time. This is the chocolate version. Is it good? It's good. What's it taste like? Rum and chocolate? It's banana. Banana? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, my turn. So we're gonna try it. I'm really, <laughs> it kinda tastes like banana, but I taste the rum, which I'm assuming it's just like soaked in Barbados rum. Uh, this is the chocolate version. They do have vanilla version, which I do wanna try. It's very moist. It's actually very, very good. And it was like eight US dollars, I think. I think it's worth a try. Finally, finally, we had a nice day, and our first choice was to go snorkeling, which was honestly a highlight from the trip. I don't have any footage of the fish underwater, but I was shocked at how many beautiful fish were so close to the shore, which I love because the ocean really does freak me out, and to take a boat deeper into the ocean where you can't see the shore would have been way too much for me. So the fact that we could snorkel really where we, our feet could still hit the ground and still see so much beautiful wildlife was amazing. What kind of fish did we see? We saw the black and striped one from Finding Nemo. <laughs> I, I, thought you needed, I thought you needed an ace. The blue one from Finding Nemo. <laughs> we saw lots A of beautiful fish. How big? How big? Like this. That big, just right here. Right where we can stand. Some of the coral it was beautiful. It's really cool. Uh huh. Welcome to Barbados. Or the Caribbean, really. <laughs> we were able, when the weather got nicer, we were able to take their water taxi to the other resorts. We did stop at one of the other resorts for lunch. And let me tell you, the food was not it. It was not good. And I cannot express how thankful I am that our reservation got moved to the, the resort we were in because the quality of food in itself made it such a great experience. Other wildlife we saw were uh, some kittens that made their way to our porch uh, during the rainstorm. They were there for the whole night and they were super cute. Some of them looked sick so we didn't get too close but here's some clips of those kittens. There, were, there was like five or six of them and we found them all eventually but they yeah, had all the baby kids just on our front porch. There were these crows, man, or I think they're crows, just nasty little buggers, always out to get you food. And the best, best wildlife we saw were these baby turtle hatchlings coming out of the sand. What a beautiful thing to witness. Also relatively sad because they're on what now is resort oceanfront. And these turtles that have probably been birthed here for years now have to come back humans. We spent one day out in the town. What we love to, when we go to resorts, we love to see, sure, enjoy what's inside the four walls of the resort, but we really care about seeing what's the reality behind the vacation and the country we're going to. So one of our, uh, one of the staff at the hotel we became friends with and she was able to show us around more of the local area was a restaurant within one of the mall areas and it's, I guess it's a very popular spot to grab a quick meal. You take your plate, weigh it. I'm not sure if the cost was per container or per size of your plate. I don't know if they actually weighed it. But at the end of the day we had to stop at Starbucks because our friend had never tried Starbucks before. And I also think it's fun to try Starbucks in different countries, whether it's different flavors that you can try, different types of drinks or treats. So we had to take her so she could try her first ever Starbucks. And one of the reasons why Starbucks is so special there is it's expensive. Yes, Starbucks is expensive here in the US. The wage, their regular income versus the cost of the Starbucks, it's just insane. Here's our last morning. We're having breakfast. And we're gonna try to make the baby for just a little bit before we go home. How do you feel? Yesterday we said goodbye to a few of the staff members that have been really kind to us um, and we wanted to tip them nicely and so it was really cute because we got like a big smile. I got a hug from someone and then we made a really good friend while we were here who actually took us around town. So we said goodbye to them. So we're going to say goodbye to Barbados.
I'm a slim. Do, 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 do. Last day, last day, last day, last day. We're gonna enjoy the beach for two hours. And that really concludes our trip to Barbados. 10 days full of sun and rain and fun and relaxation and lots and lots and lots of food. We had a really good time. Now, would we ever go to Barbados again? We're not too sure. Although we had a good time where we went, there wasn't much more beyond that. And in some of our perspective, you can get sun in resort almost anywhere, any tropical location, you can get those similar things. And we would love to see somewhere new where we're happy to go, absolutely. Um, but if, if it were between Barbados and Brazil or Barbados and somewhere we've never been, we, we would pick those places. So if you have any questions about our stay in Barbados, any questions about travel, please let us know down below. If you like videos like this, seeing different countries, hit that subscribe button. Let us know you're sticking along for the journey and let us know what type of content you want to see because ultimately I'm here for you. So with that, I hope you guys have an incredible week and we will talk soon. If you love content like this, hit that subscribe button. Let me know you're sticking along for the journey.